so in the previous video i have explained what is the quarkus and how you will write the first code of the quarkus so it is uh, move the next one so this part i have already explained to you what is the quarkus and what is going to benefit for the developers and all those things and a few important uh, key notes about the quarkus what is the difference between quarkus and the spring boot and how you write your first Quarkus project. So I would recommend if you have not visited my first video, please go and visit that. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this and share the video, right? Okay, so I have already explained this, what is the Spring Boot and the Quarkus uh, difference and how to select one. And this time in this video, I'm going to explain that how to integrate your Quarkus code with the Kafka messaging system. Okay. And but first and foremost, you should uh, aware, you should have the knowledge. What is the Kafka? Or what is the how to create the topic? What is the Zookeeper? What is the Kafka server? And all those things, and how to send the message, and receive the message. If you are not aware about the Kafka, I would recommend please visit my uh, this video, Kafka video, to get the better understanding about the Kafka. Then you come to this video, and further you can move forward for the integration for the um, call. Uh, Quarkus and the Kafka. Okay, let us start that. So what you have to do again first go as I explained in the next first video here go this page and choose the Kafka thing. Kafka connector, Kafka client and Quarkus Kafka and choose the Java version 11 and generate the code. Hit the generate the code and you can see it has been generated. It, 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 it has been came here, right? Import that code in the Eclipse as we have done in the previous video. This is the Quarkus Kafka I have already imported and little bit code I have done to save the time, right? So now, first and foremost, before starting this code, our Zookeeper or the Kafka server should be up. So I have installed, if you see, Kafka 2.13 version. I would also recommend you to, you should also download and just unzip it and come to this bin folder. So first you have to start the Zookeeper. Now this is the concept of the Kafka. So I'm going to first start the Zookeeper in one tab, console. Once it will be start, then we have to go and start the Kafka server, right? Kafka server will start by default 9092. Okay. Now we have to check that how many topics already we have. So I have already made the two topics for this the demo. One is the test, one is the test output. And we have to start the producer. So if you want to send the data in this topic, topic name is the test, then you execute this command. And also I have to go to start the consumer with the same topic. Okay. So it is that uh, our setup is working or not. Uh, testing for YouTube. And this message go to the consumer. So you can see this message go to the testing for YouTube. Right. So now the Kafka part is done. Now we start the code here. So what you have to do in the configuration dot properties you have to add all the details so this is my 909 to kafka journey and this is the connector so you uh, what uh, the quarkus has done they have the many connectors and they uh, have the name for the connector so which connector you are going to use that so this is the connector name uh, let me make this little bit big for you okay and this part is you have to give already kind of hard code you can understand and you have to give the name, uh, suppose uh, uh, which Kafka we are going to use, what is the topic. So you have to give the name, so you will differentiate here. You can see I have given the data input here and data output here for the two topics, right? But for this example, my input topic is also test and output topic is also test. So this information you have to give and then you have to move the code. First and foremost, you write the consumer code. So this is just one line code I told you. This is your method, right? 
and you for this method you need this input parameter right so just one line code you put the incoming and you give the input kafka topic name okay so and that is a data input i have given in the uh, application properties right that's it that's enough now whatever you send to that kafka topic it will catch by this method it will show to you so let us start and i want to see that so whether it's working or not that's it that's code is done now you have to start this application right so go yeah and i have already shown you caucus def it will start now the moment whatever you data you send that topic it will catch by your method and whatever you want to do you can do that so this is my console part for the quarkus and let me send some data so i am expecting if data you will send that should come here so hello bino suman academy enter you can see this this is captured by the quarkus you can see here this machine is coming right so this is just one line of code is enough to connect the kafka uh, messaging system right now uh, i have made one producer also so if you want to produce the data so what how you be test i make one api this api is not very big thing he will just uh, you hit the data send i make one post call and through this post call uh, they will accept one message and they will call the kafka this method producer and they will produce it so if you see here for the producing you need one emitter emitter you can make with your pozo also and you can make with your any primitive data type also so i have make in the string and then you have to send the message that's it here okay so let us start this i have already started this code and let me hit this produce uh, a producer the data send that's it data send and the message so i will use the postman post data send and testing for producer for youtube let us see come or not you have to choose the json why you have to choose the json because in your code if you see i have given the json okay okay so now hit this button you will see you will get one message here so means this producer is also working now i am going to show one of the very interesting thing and very common use case yeah, in um, the messaging system so what happens sometime you have to receive some message and you have to do some data engineering over there on your input message and again you have to pass that message some other topic so you are getting data from one input topic do some engineering data engineering pass on another topic if you do the same kind of work in the java huge amount of code you have to write right but in the quarkus it is just a job of the 30 second so see what you have to do first you write one method and take some input is coming and whatever the engineering you want you do it data engineering so i am just appending this message to understand that my uh, data conversion method is working what you have to do here you have to give the incoming topic name and output topic name that's it so for the data output come in the properties five and change because i told you i have the two topic you want to see again so you can see test output so this time test is the input topic and test output is output topic let me start the consuming text output also so this is the test output right consumer part is this one so for the time being so not have any confusion i comment it out now send some data on the test input what is happening now this is the test input i am producing something uh, show me data engineering that's it now if you see here it has been received and they have already engineer they have already so if you see here where well, that message went okay let me check whether it came here or not 
So if you see this is came here, so mean gen equal. So this is how we can connect uh, the Kafka. It's very easy. Uh, the few line of code is enough to make the integration with the Kafka and the Quarkus. So, and the next video we are going to see how to do the reactive programming and uh, and the imperative programming both with the help of the Java. So, if you uh, the is Quarkus. If you see here the next video. So, what I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk the reactive and the imperative programming, and those things you can do through the uh, Spring Boot. You can do the imperative and then the uh, Spring uh, web facts, you can do the reactive, but you cannot do the both together in one of the Spring framework. But through the uh, Quarkus, you can do the both imperative and the reactive in the one, 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 one Java class. Thank you very much for this video. Please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.